the quick version of Beat Detective. I'm just going to dive into this little section here. Now let's have a quick listen. It's not horrible, but it's not in time. So if we zoom in on some of these kick drums, you can see that they're rushing ahead because the drummer's always rushing. And in this case, I can say it's not good because it's me playing it. But anyway, so I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to chop up this little section. I always like chopping up some sections first. I'm going to pick even just a couple of bars. With Beat Detective, a really good idea to do it um, to transients when you're chopping up these little areas. I'm also just going to drag that off there. So what we have is this particular area here is a clean little section that goes when we look at our, our um, selector up here, we have basically um, exactly four bars of time, but the audio inside it is a little bit out. Command eight, bring up Beat Detective. Choose clip separation, right? We wanna make sure that we capture the selection. Uh, 16th notes, eighth notes, there's many um, you know decisions to be made there. For this, we're mostly gonna work with the kick drum. Now, um, I've captured the selection, so 98, 4, 103, 1, um, is, is what it actually has up the top there as well. Those things match and we need that to happen. I'm now going to uh, only select the kick drum for that area. So I'm going to analyze that particular selection. I'm going to bring up the sensitivity here until we start seeing our beautiful little purple lines which show up there. Excellent. I then go uh, semicolon down so that we end up selecting the entire group. I'm going to separate it, choose clip conform here which is going to be a standard conform. It's going to put that all on the time. You can see it's moved in the little sections there. Left some gaps, so I edit smoothing. We're going to fill gaps and crossfade. Hit smooth, and what we'll have now is basically the kick drums right on. We haven't touched the hi-hats, but let's have a listen. Beautiful. Like, all, like you should do always with Beat Detective, you should go in here and check that you haven't got any little uh, artifacts ending up there. So zoom in quite a little bit. I usually just select that and use my right arrow to continue through and make sure that I haven't got any bad edits in there. And that section, that is, that's it, it's done. Beat Detective, put in time. You can do what you want with that now. All right.